Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn about numbers in Python. So basically what we are going to learn is what, how we store numbers in Python and what are the types of numbers in Python and how do we execute them and how do you find out uh, what type of uh, number it is. Okay, so to begin with, uh, let me tell you about the, there are three types of numbers in Python. Let me comment it out so that you can understand this is the comment and it does not um, affect our code. <laughs> so uh, starting with the first type of number that we have in Python is int. Okay, and the second type of number in Python is float let me write float okay sorry about the spelling mistake out there and the third one is complex so we'll learn about them one by one and for making it less complex i just copied and pasted the <laughs> the spelling so that i don't confuse you this time but this number this third type of uh, uh, number is complex so let's start and understand how it works so va variables of numeric types are created when you assign a value to them. So you don't need to uh, pre-assign that uh, it's this is int or this is float or this is complex. Python will understand it automatically. This is not like any other languages which um, gives you a, a problem when you you can only store x, x type of number in it uh, unless and until you uh, you know change change the uh, variable type. But in, in, in Python, Python will not uh, give you that problem and it will assign the type of number uh, automatically. So let's take the example of variable x wherein x is equal to 1. So over here if we can understand uh, this is the number type int. It is an integer, right? And the second one if I give the variable as y, then the I can give it a float which is 2.1. This could be our float because it has decimals. And the third one is z. So let's give it a complex uh, number. The complex number would be any number and then followed by j. Okay, this would be our complex. So this, these are the types of uh, numbers in Python. There are only three types, integer, float, and complex. Now, let us learn how we can go ahead and print these things. So all I'm doing, going to do is I'm just going to type print command and just, ty just uh, type, <laughs> type in front of the a a variable and it will give us the type of variable it is okay so I'm going to go ahead and make this a little more uh, visible let's run the code and see yes here you go the first one in our list was X and here as you can see this is integer type the second one uh, on our list was Y and as you can see it is it has a class of float which is that means it's a type of float and the third one that we have is a complex one which is Z. Now let's go ahead and understand them one by one. So what are integer numbers and how do we define them in Python? I mean, we just need to write the number and it will understand automatically. However, uh, integer uh, int or integer is a whole number, positive or negative, without decimals of unlimited length. So any number without decimal, be it positive or negative, it will be an integer for you. So to give you an example, I can again uh, call out my favorite variables x, y, and z. And this time, uh, I'll give the first type of uh, value of, uh, of integer. Let's say I can give one in front of it, and it will be an integer. I, I can give a single number, single digit again, which is uh, two. I can give three, four, or five, any number, and it will still be integer let's go ahead and define y with little bigger number let's take any number like two five eight six seven eight two nine one two eight one six and this will again be an integer then 
um, th let's let's look at the third example of integer which would be a negative number you can take any number like minus one minus two minus three or you can take a bigger number like four five four eight six seven one any number like this and it will again be an integer only okay um i'm getting some problem with these underlines of, of yellow color let me check what i can do to remove it let me try something else something over here and i'll just remove it in a moment now i got it the problem over here was there is a standard library in python uh which uh, you know which has the name as numbers and we cannot define our um, file name uh, for python as numbers okay so i'm going to change it to something else i'm going to change it to num p dot py and it should fix the problem boom here you go let's go ahead and understand the second type of uh, number variable which could be float uh, so in this case what what are the types of float we can enter into it so what could be the float in that we can enter into variables of uh, python so again let's call out our favorite favorite variables like x y and z and i'll give the example of float as any decimal uh, after the number so let's take the example of 5.1 this will be a float if you talk about why let me check uh, why and i can give you another example like uh, 5.0 would also be a float if you have just decimal after it it's not necessary that i mean i understand that 5 and and uh, 5.0 is is the same but if you add 5. Point, i mean if you add decimal after the number like here we have 5.0 will also be a float um the third one is uh, i mean the third example would be any uh, negative numbers like uh, six uh, or nine and uh, but but this would be uh, integer unless and until you have added the decimal after that it would be an integer so you can add you you can uh, call the float as i mean you can call this number as float when you have number like 9.0 or 9. Point, any decimal numbers over here so this is how float is defined and the third example that we have is of uh, uh, let, let me complete the float a uh, few more parts of float uh, we can have some scientific numbers in float as well so let's take the examples of the variables of a b and c um, let me give you the first example of uh, float like this 35 e3 which will be a huge number and we can also give the example of 1 2 e4 this will again be a variable of float numbers and the third one i can give you example of any negative number but after decimal you have some unlimited numbers over here so we have it written as scientific number as 7 e100 and this would again be a float in python let's take the example of complex now since we have completed float let's take the example of complex and in complex uh, the first variable again my favorite variables <laughs> i'm calling out the name of my favorite variables and here you go we have uh, complex numbers like uh, 3 plus 5j right we can have that we can also have y is equal to uh, 6y or 5y right and we can have the negative number in complex as well like 7y or 10y giving us the uh, error okay why well, well i i have this uh, issue so the, the as i told you the complex number can only be followed by j uh, we need to replace this y with j and we need to replace this 7 with j and here it becomes a complex number you just you can just have j after that and you cannot have any other number i mean you cannot have any other alphabets and here it becomes complex number so thank you so much guys for watching this video and in the coming videos i'm going to cover some more data types so make sure you subscribe the channel it will uh, motivate me also it will give, give you 
uh, free videos like this <laughs> i mean there are a lot of free videos but yes if you like the way i teach you then you can subscribe to my channel also you can like uh, the video uh, and and if you have any questions you can uh, put a comment below and i will try to answer it as soon as possible uh, if i'm not able to answer it in with, within a one day i make sure that i i try to answer it in in the coming days but yes leaving comment would be a huge uh, help for for this video as well as um, i can help you out with your questions so thank you so much guys and uh, see you in the next video